I've just moved, and as if to welcome me into my new home, we have a brand new IPCC report. Oh. Thanks, IPCC. So the last special report from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change was on climate change and land. Now I'm going to let you guess which part of the world this special report was about. Trampolines? N no, this report is about climate change and oceans. But the report's not just about the ocean. The title is The Ocean and Cryosphere in a Changing Climate. Cryosphere is one of my all-time favourite words because it just sounds kind of made up, like quantum supremacy or impeachment. Hmm. Cryosphere is actually all the parts of the world where water is frozen, so that could be sea ice in the Arctic, or it could be mountain glaciers, or it could be the cold, cold heart of my ex. If you're like me and you hear the words ice, ocean, and climate change all in the same sentence, then your mind immediately turns to sea level rise. And yes, sea level rise is a big part of the report. Like how that rise is currently accelerating, or we could be in for over a metre of that rise if we don't get our emissions in check. The report also details how there are 680 million people living in low-lying coastal areas. 680 million. That's about 1 in 12 people alive on the planet. The report doesn't stop at sea level rise though. It details how the oceans have been absorbing heat and carbon dioxide for years, and how this has been saving us from ourselves. In fact, 90% of the extra heat from global warming has ended up in our oceans. But our oceans are paying a price for this. The extra heat is changing ocean circulation, and the extra carbon dioxide is making our seas more acidic. The report also looks at glaciers, one of the most symbolic losses of climate change. The before and after pictures from these immense, beautiful sheets of ice really brings home the massive impacts we're having on our planet. The report shows that smaller glaciers could lose 80% of their mass if we don't control climate change by the end of the century. This is tragic in and of itself, but the impacts are also human. Millions of people rely on glaciers for their drinking water, for agriculture. There are 670 million people living in high mountain areas, and many more millions relying on the annual meltwater from these glaciers to survive. Without these glaciers, the entire ways of life, the entire lives of many people will be disrupted. Okay, so we're already talking about over a billion people affected, and we've not even started talking about weather, food, transport, industry, you name it. The report covers the parts of the world that feel the most distant. Places like the poles, the bottom of the ocean, the tops of mountains. But the report shows just how much we rely on these places, and how much these places are being impacted by us. But the report also shows how much still hangs in the balance. None of this is decided. Just take sea level rise. By the year 2300, over 5 metres of sea level rise could have taken place. But if we manage to control climate change, then we could be in for just 60 centimetres. The choice is ours. This is the third and final special report from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change in the span of just under a year. The uh, first report was on 1.5 degrees and just how much we'd benefit by limiting warming to 1.5 degrees and how hard it would be to achieve that. And the second report was on land and climate change. These may seem like they're all on very different topics, but all three reports point to the same picture. As one of the IPCC chairs pointed out this morning, they all paint a picture of a race between humans and ecosystems trying to adapt, and between climate change. And right now, it looks like climate change is outpacing us. But these reports have also helped galvanise a new climate movement, as people realise just how serious the crisis is. Raising your voice on climate change has never been so important. But it's also never been so easy, because your push will be adding to the momentum created 
by millions. Earlier this year, a plaque was erected in Iceland to commemorate the loss of a glacier to climate change. I'd like to end this video by reading you what that plaque said. Ok is the first Icelandic glacier to lose its status as a glacier. In the next 200 years, all our main glaciers are expected to follow the same path. This monument is to acknowledge that we know what is happening and what needs to be done. Only you know if we did it. Thank you for watching. I am planning on releasing videos a lot more regularly to help keep you climate informed. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next video, which is on one of my biggest climate fears, tipping points. Until next time, bye.